Hi, I've got some more ripe figs here in the lean-to. Uh, this is an example of what can happen uh, when, I think it's mainly when you have figs grown in pots because you have extremes. Uh, if they're in the ground, I think, uh, you know, if you have an even distribution of moisture, you don't get this. But as soon as the temperatures cool off, um, it's just something about fall temperatures that you start getting these these splits like this and uh, what happens is if you let the container go completely dry and then you add a little water to it uh, you go from one extreme to another um, it's funny because they it seems to split um, before they get to turn um, this one here already turned uh, the dark color it's it's a lot right but it, it didn't split so these here just opened right up, you can see there. And luckily they're in the lean-to here, I don't have those little tiny flies that uh, they can lie, lay eggs. And then you get these little maggots in the figs. And uh, it's all disturbing when you see them because on a healthy fig they sort of look like, you know, the inside of a healthy fig. But those little tiny... Uh, I don't know what they call them, stamma or whatever the uh, interior structure of the fig is. You can see here, they almost look like that uh, on the bottom uh, right there. But they'll be moving. <laughs> so it turns you off a little bit. And you, you'll see it because when a, fig, when a fig spoils, it's not dripping fig honey more than it is just, uh, it's more like a juice. Uh, and you can smell the, um, it just has a, an off smell to it, a, a sweet, like, um, spoiled smell. And there'll be flies uh, around, these little tiny, they're, they're almost like the flute, uh, fruit flies you would experiment with in, say, biology lab. So I've got some more uh, Lebanese red here. Looks like it's nice and ripe. And here is a uh, ripe uh, Violet de Bordeaux. Just take this off with the neck here. So I've got some more ripe figs on my uh, Italian Golden Honey. This is from um, a cutting that I saved from a tree that uh, died when I left it out during the winter. And I wasn't certain if I had saved the right cutting, but this is how I remember it. And they, Turn yellow, and then they have this fig honey that drips out of the eye when they're nice and ripe and yellow. Got another one down here. You can see here the fig honey coming out. I have outside, I think it's a uh, Peter's honey, and it has uh, fig honey in the eye, but it stays green. So you can see some of the leaves here. There's one, but where's the distinctive large leaf here, right here? This one doesn't have the fig honey yet, probably tomorrow. I've got some nice Ashia black. Some cracking going on, they're drooping, no fig honey. It's a nice one I put in the Now some people don't like care for it, but I like these that have the um, the Barnasote was like that too. Uh, it has a thick, like leathery skin, and um, when it dries and it has sweetness associated with it so it's it's chewy and it gives you more of that fig flavor that dark uh, flavor one starting to crack open pick that these I think are good for drying if you have nice dry weather for them 
they can dry right on the tree. Now this one here might have spoiled. It was sitting on the branch here and I'm a little concerned about the consistency. This might have spoiled. Oh yeah, I think, well, we'll see. I'll keep this to the edge of the plate. Oh, there's sirens going off left and right. Something's going on. Some more up here. Wow, this guy here just completely just split way open. Okay, so this is a nice plate of figs. Let's take a look at the inside of these, see if they've changed. That darker red, maybe. Ooh, it's starting to look like a fig. Okay, so you can see there, this is a lot darker than the last ones. Starting to get that Fig Newton look, that dark. I don't know, it's coming, it, it, it's caramel, but it's coming off more red in the camera. I don't know why that is. Some nice seeds there for crunch. Nice uh, thick skin. Let's give this a try. That's good. Let's take a look at this one. The Violet de Bardot. Hmm. Actually, yeah. Um, this is a lot better than the last one. Last Ballet de Bardot. See anything moving? Hope not. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I didn't pick the uh, Italian gold honey again. So here's an Italian golden honey with the fig honey in the eye. Looks just like honey, doesn't it? Let's get this open. That looks good. Let's give this a try. Hmm. That's good. 
Now this other one I thought kind of probably spoiled. It's too soft and mushy. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't know, it looks okay, but I don't know. It's sort of turning me off the uh, how mushy it is. It's another issue of black. I don't know, maybe I'll try it. Can't kill me, right? No, that's big. Thought it was bad, but there's nothing wrong with that fig. It was sitting on the stem, and the uh, honey was oozing out of it, I guess, onto the stem. Thought maybe it had spoiled. But it's still good. Well, see, here's a, looks like something pecked at it. Some Peter's honey, I think. That's what that looks like. And some more Zingarellas. It's pretty soft. Hmm. Those Ingarellas are the sweetest. That one even outdid the Italian golden honey. Those are good. Wow. What is that flavor? It's like an aftertaste from that. Hmm. Like a caramel. Hmm. And that was really ripe. That was a very ripe. Cinderella. So this is New England Gardening. Still uh, enjoying some figs here in New England of the Zingarella. Thanks for watching.